Richard of York gave battle in vain. Everyone is familiar with this mnemonic aid sentence, encoding colors of the rainbow. Why are the colors always arranged in this particular order? How do they emerge from the white sunlight? Why aren't there any other colors in the rainbow? It's not too easy to answer these questions. So let's start with observations. We can see beautiful rainbow colors on soap film, especially if it's quite thin. Soapy liquid is moving downwards and so do the color stripes. We take a transparent plastic box lid and tilt it so that the white computer screen reflects in it. We can see unexpectedly bright iridescent streaks on the lid. And what wonderful rainbow colors one can see when light is reflected from a CD. Particularly if we direct a flashlight onto the disk and make the picture emerge on the wall. We get three rainbows instead of one. Isaac Newton, the great British physicist, was the first to try to explain the emergence of rainbow colors. He let a narrow beam of sunlight into a dark room and put a triangular prism in its way. The light coming out of the prism produces a color stripe which is called a spectrum. Red color deflects the least, while violet color the most. The other rainbow colors are situated between those two with no distinct borders between them. We are going to use a bright LED flashlight as a source of white light in our experiment. To form a narrow light beam we install one slot just behind the flashlight and the other one right in front of the prism. We see a bright rainbow stripe on the screen. We can clearly see red, green and blue colors in it. They are the core of the visible spectrum. Let's put a cylindrical lens in the way of the color beam and make it focus. The beam on the screen has focused into a narrow stripe. All the colors of the spectrum have mixed and the stripe has become white again. Why does the prism turn white light into rainbow colors? The thing is that all the colors of the rainbow are already present in white light. Glass refraction index differs depending on the color of the beam, so the prism deflects the beams in different ways. Every separate color of the rainbow is pure and it cannot be split into different colors. Newton proved it in experiment, separating a narrow beam from the whole spectrum and putting the second prism in its way, which caused no more splitting. We have learned how a prism separates white light into individual colors. Small drops of water work like prisms in a real rainbow. Next time we are going to talk about the emergence of rainbow colors in a thin film or when light is reflected from a CD.